I completed a group project by myself. My professor gave me an F, but don't worry, I gave him an F too. He's fired. Okay, OP. This is okay, OP. I'm Samuel Donner, and I'm John Fry, and we tell the funniest stories on the internet. Mm-hmm. And uh, John, this is actually this guy on TikTok that I saw. You know, Axel. Axel. Yeah. Do you see this guy, Axel? He basically like tried to apply to Juilliard, and Juilliard didn't get him in. Oh, uh, like everyone's kind of like rooting for him, yeah, and, like yeah, that yeah. whole thing. A small, smallest apartment in New York. Yeah, smallest yes, apartment yes. in New York, okay. yep, and yep, yep. and he didn't get in Juilliard, but then like all of his fans just flooded Juilliard's Instagram page <laughs> and just wrecked them, tore them a new one. Um, and now he's getting all these brand deals. He's getting modeling gigs, uh, but he's still in that small apartment. Uh, and um, and I just want everyone to remember when we were recording from my room. <laughs> In the future, maybe it's a six months, maybe it's a year, but one day we're going to be in our big fancy studio. And I want you to remember this moment, TikTok, before That's you right. blow us up That's and YouTube right. and the podcast. And shout out to everyone who has been saying, why is this so small? Like you guys deserve to be bigger. Like people are out there rooting for us. So yeah, we yeah. And we appreciate you. you. We're, and we're, you're the ones making it happen also. Yeah, yeah. And like, like you know, everyone who's actually, you know, supporting us on Patreon or mm-hmm. on YouTube uh, or the podcast, uh, you're the real ones. It all helps. It all helps. Um, but I got a, I got a real story for you, John. Uh, Ooh, that'll help. Uh, that'll help. That'll me. help. Me. Good story. <laughs> uh, that's what I want to do. That's what I want. I completed a group project by myself. My professor gave me an F, but don't worry. I gave him an F too. He's fired. <laughs> yeah. You stupid professor. You thought you could get away with it. You couldn't. You won't. You. You'll pay Dumbo. for your actions. You nincompoop. Nincompoop. That's that's a good one. I profess that you're stupid. <laughs> Mike, drop. <laughs> Don's getting angry. I got, I got, gosh, you know, everyone's been in the group project for yeah, no yeah, tributes, you know? Yeah. It's John frustrating. And I over, overachievers over here, always, always doing the work. Yep. So I was in speech class. It was my last semester and it was completely online due to COVID. Our professor assigned us a group speech that we were to record and send to him by the due date. I thought it would be easy enough as he gave us two weeks to work on it and the group speeches weren't anything new to me. He even made separate discussion boards for our groups so we could communicate. And this project was worth 30% of our grade. So failing this project meant you would pretty much fail the course. Oh, wow. 30%. That's a lot. I wanted to get it done early so we wouldn't have to worry about it. So I immediately post a message to everyone in the group asking when they were free to do a Zoom meeting to discuss the project. You know, like OP is being, being responsible. Yeah, trying, trying to get it done. No reply for a few days by any of them. <laughs> That's what I'm imagining the, yeah. the meeting. <laughs> the tumbleweed just. <laughs> um, I then post again. This time, a little more stern, as it didn't seem like any of them cared enough to reply at all. I waited a few more days. At this point, we only had one week left before it was due, so I just divided up the work and posted what everyone would need to write their portion of the speech about and gave them a date slash time that I would be holding a Zoom meeting for the final recording to send to the professor. Which, like, low-key, dude, OP is is, 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 is doing a lot for them at this point, right? Literally just spelling everything out like here's your little contribution i've set everything up <laughs> yeah yeah being as clear as possible but still no reply wah, wah. no reply it was now the day before the speech was to be recorded and two days before the speech was due and my group members had still not made an attempt to contact in any form at all whatsoever zilch not a zero come on come on so i did the only thing i could think of and emailed my professor explaining the situation. But this professor kind of sucks. I assumed he would not reply because throughout the entire semester, it took him over a week to reply to any emails I had sent him. I then did the entire group project on my own, which took me the entire night with no sleep. After I finished writing everyone's speech, it was around the time I had scheduled the Zoom meeting to record. And again, this is a speech class. It, a group speech. A it's group like, speech. What, what is he like? Today, I have this speech. We need to do this. Like he's just running to everyone's spots. Yep. <laughs> I then did the entire group project on my own. 
I joined, I joined the Zoom meeting out of amusement, knowing nobody in my group would be there. Sure enough, it was empty. So I did the entire speech myself. But the rubric really put emphasis on transitioning to our other group members, including <laughs> saying their name. So between every section where it would cut to a different member, I would say something like, and now my name will explain the importance of blah, blah. And then mute my screen briefly as if to cut, but on a different, put on a different hat and then continue the speech. Bro, the production value is off the charts for this single group speech right Dude, here. Opie is killing it. I did this for all six portions of the speech. <laughs> There's six characters. <laughs> I turned in the speech shortly after and filled out the group member role sheet that was due as well. I just put my name in every single box that was supposed to be a different group member. <laughs> Because she, because OP did the whole thing. The whole thing. A week passes and I see that my professor graded the project, but he still has not replied to my previous email about the situation, by the way. And he gave me a zero stating it was supposed to be a group project and me doing it solo meant I did not follow the instructions. <laughs> Man's okay. dying with every breath. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say like, first off, He's about to be finishing his life. <laughs> and second, like, OP should literally get like an A++ for doing everything. Like, right? Are you kidding me? I was actually infuriated by this and knew that emailing him about the grade was as good as useless. Yep. So I went straight above him to the board of the college and explained to them what happened. The highest power in the land. The highest power. I will go to the Citadel and talk to the Council of Elders. They apologized and said the situation would be resolved within a few hours of me talking to the board. Oh, wow. Then he had replied to my email three times saying that he was sorry for the miscommunication about the project and that my grade would be corrected. And then he scolded me for going above him saying, you should have just emailed me again if you couldn't get it contact with your other classmates <sighs> and he was putting the blame on me for not trying harder to reach out to them <laughs> the next semester i saw that he was no longer with the school my guess is that it was a habit of his to not reply to emails and he got fired for it but he was also pretty old so maybe he just kicked the can also, his corrected grade was a 70, but I was so mentally exhausted from the situation at that point that I didn't care to fight it anymore. OP deserves 170%. Like, that is unacceptable. They deserve 600%. They deserve 100% for of every group member that they did. Work. Yeah, this is ridiculous. And you could just tell, like, the fact that OP like put together all the slots, then just filled it in, then <laughs> the muting to transition, like ridiculous. So much work was put into so this. much work. And honestly, like no one should ever have to do that amount of work. But I think people should have to do a little work. And so I want to make sure the OKOP fam does a little bit of work right now. A little bit of work to take that finger and smash the subscribe button. Smash it. Smash Grr! that subscribe button. Follow us on the Spotify and the TikTok and support us on Patreon. And join the ranks of Kathy Quigley, Keegan Ooh. Simmons, Desiree Canterbury, Connor Van Buren, Nina Campbell, and Will Combs. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.